and I want some penis, okay? Back for Nosy Bozy part two, where I would like to figure out what's going on with this Chelsea Hart situation. This is an active investigation once again. I want to preface this post by saying every rumor you've heard about this person hitherto on this app has been made up by neo Nazis bent on killing him. None of that is true. It's a crock of shit. I've spent the evening being What? That's a lot. Who are we talking? <laughs> okay. Screamed at by a person I thought was my friend. What is that and the music? It's wrong. What is that? But I do not wish harm or vengeance on this person. I did make a post in anger earlier today and it was wrong and I shouldn't have and I want to clear this air. What? I've been friends with Lance Sosi for the last year. That's the dude, right? And for the last six months, we were romantically involved. This is the guy that she was talking to? This is her and then this is him. Am I crazy or is she like way too hot for him? I'm just, I'm just like, look at that, look at that jawline. <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. Uh, okay, so they're e-dating. Lance became my friend very soon after oh I lost the baby and I'd been having panic attacks for the first time in my life. Okay, and so we're an oversharer. Stop. Yeah. That right there tells me, like, period, like, no ifs, ands, or buts. This, she's an oversharer. The music is, like, one thing, but her just sliding in. I had a miscarriage a little bit ago and he was there for me through it. That is deeply personal. Women have miscarriages and don't tell anybody. Um, a miscarriage is a very painful process. So I'm sorry, but her just putting in that little detail like that so randomly to inform us is oversharing. She's an oversharer. Really made me feel safe and eventually I fell for him and told him and I kept having the panic attacks and he just kept telling me to open up and trust him and he wanted to protect me and I really I think he wanted to protect okay. me. Okay. I kept telling him that this is very, uh, I don't do this and I, this is very strange and new. And he brought up once or twice that he'd been listening to a podcast about polyamory and he asked me what I thought of that. And I said, no, I couldn't do that. And given all the romantic messages we were sending, I thought, he would okay stop him. wait i don't know what all but she gave an example of the romantic messages and she says that i was having panic attacks and he would tell me to just like Ooh. hold on or something like that guys if someone is being nice to you when you're having a panic attack that is basic human decency like i understand for you that you're in a really vulnerable triggered state and this person telling you it's gonna be okay is exactly what you needed to hear. But it was really easy for that guy to say, it's gonna be okay. But it doesn't mean as much as it may feel. I hate the music. And so under that pretense, we never talked about it again. And under that pretense of understanding that I needed to be the only one, I flew to De Denver and I had unprotected with him once again the oversharing she lost a, a child and then she was having panic attacks and she met this guy online and he tells her to just hold on through the panic attacks and eventually they meet in person he mentions polyamory she says no and then they go to hook up and he tells her that he doesn't want to use a condom in less than 24 hours what after i had had unprotected sex with him i found out that he was on a date with another woman because he posted a TikTok with her. He posted the TikTok with another. No, hold on. He posted a TikTok with another girl the day after she flew out. Shitty boy. Shitty boy. I, I want to be super clear. I got to keep diving into this for a minute. I don't know why this is 40 minutes. I'm terrified and intrigued at the same time. You felt entitled to my body because I trusted you. That's not, you felt that's entitled true. to my body because I had publicly supported you. You, you violated my trust. I almost want an STD test. Wait, what? If I slept with somebody and flew out to see them and had unprotected sex and the next day they were hanging out with another person, I don't almost want an STD test. I am at the clinic asking for every test imaginable because clearly you can't keep your dick in your pants, okay? The fact that she's sitting here recording this TikTok before hitting up the clinic really shows that she's, she's emotionally angry about this. That's what it's all about. Like, it's not really about like, personal health and safety or anything because she would have been there already. And then also, if she really wanted to get his ass, she would have showed up in this TikTok video with the test, with the test in hand. 
Please don't cancel and please don't ruin his life. I then why are you telling us? Do better. And I want to give him the opportunity why are you to not be a misogynist. This is a lie that was made up by a jealous neo -Nazi. Lance would never do this. Okay. He is this, this is what she's doing right now is weird. She still wants Lance for some reason because she's defending him. What she's basically saying to him is, listen, I can defend you or I can take you down. Which one do you want, Lance? What do you want from me? That's basically what she's doing. This is not what he's being accused of. And I would appreciate it if everyone stopped spreading this rumor explicitly. Stop spreading this rumor right here, but spread my story about what Lance did to me, because it's true. Lance violated my body in a way I didn't consent to. I did not consent to unprotected sex with multiple partners. There is no way that he could have misinterpreted my intentions with him. I was explicit. I had been learning Navajo for him. I had bought lingerie for us months ago for, to, for me to wear for him. I had bought him gift cards for Christmas. Months ago? So if you guys were texting for just a few months before you even flew out and you bought the lingerie months ago, what, as soon as you saved his name in your phone, you started buying panties, bro? I can't express enough. Some of the stuff that she's saying is like pretty valid, but... Back in my day, this is not how we handled it. In my day, I, I'll call up Stephanie. I'll be like, girl, he was fucking somebody else. And, and Stephanie would say, really? I said, yes. And we'd be like, okay, let's get on his Instagram and try to figure out who it is. And then let's message this bitch. That's what we would do. Like, I wouldn't put the, hoo, 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 and then and then say like, you know, everything that's going on right now. Like, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Like, she's valid, but this is too much. All for him to buy things for us when we're together. Um, this was extremely romantic and extremely personal and extremely vulnerable for me. I was taken. I have so many notes about this too, because I need you guys, the bar is on the floor for us lately, huh, ladies? So maybe I just need to tell you some of this stuff. Wearing <laughs> lingerie for your man is not romantic. That is an attempt to make your man pay attention to you. You want to feel sexy in the moment. Not No one ever does anything for one single reason, right? So why would I put on lingerie for my significant other? Um, our sex life is getting boring and I'm afraid that he's not attracted to me as much anymore. I want to feel sexy and confident that night and I want attention and I want some penis, okay? And nowhere in there is romance. Just putting on the, the, the lingerie and then saying, come on, baby, come me down. That's not romance and and you deserve real romance advantage of in that trust in a way that i just didn't consent to i did not consent to that sex i don't know if that legally makes it assault and i don't want to say that it does because this that's an accusation is... i'm not prepared i'm not prepared to level against someone oh 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 sorry people in my chat right now just in, for youtube people they're saying that chelsea hart goes by they them pronouns so we will definitely bear with me because sometimes i slip up a little bit but yes i acknowledge that and we'll definitely try thank you thank you ask yourself even though um men can say really 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 nice things and they feel good especially and i'm gonna put i'm gonna attribute this to myself when we're lonely and we think no one will ever love us just the simplest notion of somebody seeming like they care about you is going to make you happy right so we need to start to figure out if a guy actually genuinely likes us or if they are just saying the bare minimum to get into our pants Yes, they're a piece of shit, but we need some, we need some defenses here. We need some shields, okay? Can I see some text messages? This is absolutely true. He never misrepresented what he was going through. I was supporting him and, and talking to him the entire time. She was time. giving him the mo she was uh, giving him money? He was in very real danger. And as such, I desperately request TikTok to take this with grace. And please... Do not come after him. Then why are you posting all these? I'm not going to talk about the year he's had. You... It's been really bad, though. Everything he said about what was happening to him with the abuse, with the, you know, all of it is true. Every word. Every word. And he, he's never, anyone underage, he's never done anything. Does he have a response? Don't. Oh, he does. Please oh, he does. Okay, uh, okay, all right. Start the rumor mill or something. We're going to see his response. Listen to what I'm saying. This is the objective truth. Yeah, and the next time you call me a offender, make sure you put registered in front of it. You see, what we're not going to do 
is run around spreading misinformation. This is the guy y'all was fucking. This was the dude. This is the. This is the. This is him. The conversation that you are taking way out of context okay. to justify this post is ridiculous. Small and I were having a conversation regarding the terrible rumors that racist white supremacists <laughs> were spreading about me. They were spreading those rumors and using her as a pawn. Hello, beautiful people. Hey. <laughs> so I, I just want to take a second <laughs> to apologize to Chelsea. I'm very sorry that our friendship has come to this. I just want to take a minute to discuss everything going on right now. To Chelsea. I'm so sorry our friendship has come to this. <laughs> Who are these people? I'm very sorry for not being the effective communicator that I wanted to be. And most importantly, I'm extremely sorry for the pain that I've caused you. And to everyone else, I'm sorry I let you down. I do hope though, you will give me the grace to grow and learn from this opportunity. Have a good day. I may be pregnant with your child. Oh, gay, stop! Help me! When did we, when did we get, I thought, you're pregnant? <laughs> Before this video started, I was going to say, Chelsea's not gonna be happy with this response at all. The amount of emotion that is being put out on her end right now, versus what he just put out, it's not gonna make them happy. I have an ache that lives deep in my womb, Lance. And sometimes I just cry from my soul about it. And I sent you so many messages opening up to you about that. You knew, you knew, you f knew. I never would have opened up my body that intimately to you with the trauma that gives me anxiety attacks, my anxiety that manifests in my stomach and I puke. I still feel nausea multiple times enough from the anxiety and the trigger responses from that, from that, from that experience. And you knew, and you knew the whole time. How she dare? What was up with that frame? It's like she literally just came into the camera and was like, don't you dare, don't you, Lance, don't. Sorry, I was trying to move my camera back down. It seems to me as though Chelsea has a lot of really, really deep emotions. And sometimes when we as humans feel intense pain, emotion, agony, and people can't get into our heads and understand how much we're really hurting, we try to make physical manifestations of how much we're hurting. And, and I think that these videos are a physical manifestation of how much Chelsea is hurting. But I think that her hurting started before this whole situation because her depth of emotion is, is, is very strong. And I get that because I, I have a strong depth of emotion. Does it feel like her level of anger or emotion or sensitivity for this is appropriate for the situation at hand? Because a lot of us have been through this before, you know, I, I've personally been through this before. It's almost as though she can't handle all the emotions, so she's putting them out into the world and making everyone else answer to them. And you knew, and you knew the whole time. Who she dare? <laughs> that, that one. Try Lights. to apologize for your communication. Why don't you apologize for taking advantage of my vulnerability to get in my pants? You did. You knew I never would have ever slept with you without a condom had I known what was going on. I found out on TikTok how you can support me is by standing up for me. I and standing up how for you can autonomy. support me is to help me create my own personal army to get back at the dude that played me. Like weaponizing your audience is just not um, the move, and people can see through that. Of all female bodies and all human bodies, fully consenting to intimate sexual encounters with full knowledge of the context, and how you can also support me. Is by fully shouting down inflammatory, outrageous, and dehumanizing rumors that are now popping up. But I don't want. Is it just me, or does it feel like Chelsea's using a lot of buzzwords to try to get me on like their side? 
And if you clout chase in my name, I will drag you to kingdom come across the poles. I will not have my pain tainted with the violence of nonsense. It has been brought to my attention that my followers have been harassing an indigenous woman who was seen on Lance Sosi's profile. Chelsea is basically trying to use nobility, racism, in, uh, people are attacking an indigenous, uh, an indigenous woman, all this stuff. She's trying to portray this air of nobility while also doing things that are not noble on the side. It's like she does something that's very not noble and then tries to wrap it all up with nobility into like one little package. It's very strange. Rumors that she is this woman that he had been seeing. Do you not realize if she were, she was also a victim, you fucking dick. And in my name, you put you put women against women against women. You don't do that for me because you like me. Okay. Why? Because I'm a white lady you like? You go attack other women? I had no idea this was going on. Apparently it's happened multiple times in my name and I had no idea. Leave her alone. This is absolutely an example of somebody using fake righteousness to get you to do what they want. Pushing an agenda with fake righteousness while not letting you in on what their master plan is and acting like that's not what they're trying to do. Throwing around rumors that she is this woman that he had been seeing. Thank you for calling your followers off. Today has fucking sucked. I woke up with these accusations and it's now 5.30 a.m. my time. Just about every single person she probably that didn't has even know. been in my comments accusing me, insulting me, scolding me for asking her to have her followers leave me alone have been non-native white women. I've had burner accounts with anti-native slurs in the name accusing me. And it's not just been my comments, the anti-native rhetoric that this has validated and spawned all over TikTok has been absolutely insane. I, and I, I'll say, I'm gonna say this. It's not fair that she was just hanging out with the dude and he posted a TikTok and she didn't know all this was going on. And then she got all this hate. But the way she's responded to it, that's how I feel. One lady uh, told me I had internalized misogyny for being concerned about this emboldening, you know, racist people. I got painted as an aggressor, an apologist, all because I- If I hear the word misogyny or racism or consent or any other buzzword again, I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna explode in this chair. Like my entire body is just gonna like combust. Please tell me what's going on without using buzzwords to manipulate me. I feel like I'm being manipulated, so I don't want to listen to you. You know, like just be real, just be raw, bro. And you know what? Thank God it was me that he reposted recently and not, say, an Afro-Indigenous woman. Because I don't even want to know what her comments would look like. My and all of this from white women. I would be fine. I would be fine. I've literally been getting sh an Afro-Indigenous woman. I didn't even know that that's what we're called. I, <laughs> I, what is going on? <laughs> In the name of feminism and defending and believing women. It's like when your favorite TikTok creator gets harmed, you just throw all of this intersectionality out the f window. It's you guys get so caught up in this mob mentality because it's entertainment for you. It's fun. It's just tea to absorb. But you don't even stop to think of how racists are going to use this to harm the native community. This is way juicier if, if the two girls that he was talking to were fighting left and right and they were really going at each other and saying what they really felt like and not using all this manipulation. When you feel like somebody is starting to use a lot of buzzwords to manipulate you, basically what they're trying to do is um, kind of prey on your moral backbone. Instead of giving you time to take in all the facts and consider, well, this sounds right and this sounds wrong, they want to reinforce the morality aspect of it and make you feel like you have to go this side, otherwise you're a racist. Otherwise you support misogyny. Otherwise you don't support this and that. Dude, a lot of the stuff that they're saying in this is valid. Like, it's actually valid, but the way they're phrasing it is so manipulative that you just look crazy. So I never planned to make a video about this or a video like this. After finding out so much more information about just how bad this whole thing was, it needs to be said. This is about a man who lied and manipulated multiple women, and that's really bad. This is the person that's saying it as straightforward as possible to me. This is about a guy that fed girls a bunch of lines and then manipulated all of them to sleep with him, fly out to see him, send him money, 
Yes, that is 100% an issue. It's the first time that I've heard it in the in the whole 21 minutes of watching this. I don't know how we got here, bro. In January, he canceled the trip to go visit her, but had me fly out there to see him. And on Valentine's Day, he sent me beautiful, expensive earrings. And she was flying, she was buying tickets to go fly and see him. See, here we go. The straight up facts of this guy being a piece of crap out here sending girls nice earrings, knowing that another one's about to fly out, just hanging out with this girl the day after he hooks up with one. Like, here we go, straight to the point. The amount of hours I've spent on the phone with him and on FaceTime with him, trying to help and support him, does not negate the amount of hours I spent waiting for a reply and he told me I was sleeping. I was at the gym, I was doing homework. How about last week when Chelsea was out there visiting you and you weren't replying to me and you told me two days ago that you were just- Okay, so he's a player. Is everyone just shocked because he doesn't look like a Chad? Is that why everyone's surprised? Because they thought that this guy like couldn't get like a hot girl and they thought that they were gonna be the hot girl that swoops in and and then they were surprised to find that he talks to a lot of women like he's a player we all know this type of guy exists i think that people were just surprised because of the way that he looked and they thought that he looked harmless i donated to his campaign to get his car fixed i sent him <laughs> stuff for his dog his like i fixed. have spent money and time and energy on him and he was taking that from her as well he was getting the exact same thing from Chelsea as well. And this cannot go unaccounted for. When him and I had sex, I almost had to go to the ER because I had a ruptured ovarian cyst, which is what it is. That happens. I realized that. Yeah, okay. But apparently, he went and told her that, that some girl he slept with, it was so good with her that he ruptured an ovarian cyst. What a loser <laughs> what an actual loser if you guys didn't know ovarian cysts are things that women get sometimes uh some people some people in chat might have had them before some people have never had one what it literally feels like is like for a couple hours there's like pressure and you're like oh that's uncomfortable and then out of nowhere it feels like a gunshot just like went off in your body and you're like oh my god and it's just a thing that happens to women this guy went around and told people that he basically this girl so hard that an ovarian cyst ruptured oh my god what are you 12 <laughs> bragged about me to her weeks after it happening playing it off like it had happened a while ago as i'm literally waiting for my period and take took multiple pregnancy tests because i didn't know because I was uncertain. I went and got tested because I didn't know. And he bragged about it. That he has three million followers on TikTok and y'all thought just because he wasn't that cute that he wasn't gonna be a player. Are you kidding me? You give a boy that's been down on his luck for his whole life, hasn't met many women, you give him three, three million followers and a little bit of cash, he gonna be fucking everybody. Why are we surprised? Am I saying it's okay? Absolutely not. But what we're watching now are TikToks of women shocked that man has that has 3 million followers is having sex with anyone that he can. I have his address. Like I know stuff about his life and his yeah, past and his family. Fun. So I'm like, he's not gonna be stupid enough to risk having me, somebody who has a small but substantial flat platform, okay. exposing him. But look at Chelsea. He did the same thing to her and she's got over a million followers. So he is so stupid that he played two plus women because there's he has gotta an be more. And he's Polly? Dude, what is going wait, what is his name? Lan is he like low-key fine? And I'm like missing something? I'm not trying to pick apart somebody's appearance, but I am not attracted to this man and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. It's it's not it's not doing anything for me. It's absolutely not. Like I'm sorry, even even this picture, I think he's supposed to be I think he's supposed to be sexy here. It's just not it's not doing it for me. I don't know what's going on. Everyone shut up. I'm sure that a lot of these people are lovely creators doing what they do. This is a mess.